everybody. Welcome to another Teddy Bear Pajama Party. And how are you? That's right, you can say, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. All right, so this time I'll sing Hello, How Are You? And you can sing I'm Fine. Okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? All right, very good. Okay, so this time, can you sing hello, how are you? And I'll sing I'm fine. Okay, ready? Here we go. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. Let's do it one more time, everyone together. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. So, is everybody all ready for bed? You've got your pajamas on? Yeah? What else do we need to do? That's right, we need to wash our hands. And to wash your hands, you put your hands together like this, palms together, and rub, 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 rub. And then open up your fingers, cross them, and rub, 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 right in the middle there. All right, and then put your right hand on your left hand, and Rub, 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 rub. Open up your fingers. Rub, 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 rub. Left hand on top of your right hand. And rub, 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 rub. In between the fingers. Let's make sure we get our thumbs. And then the tips of your fingers can go into the palms of your hands. And rub, 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 rub. All right, and then around your wrists. And there we go, we're all nice and clean. All right, and while we do it, we can sing. Wash, wash, wash your hands, everyone together. 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 And there we go, our hands are all nice and clean. All right, and what else do we need to do to get ready for bed? That's right, we need to wash our face. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. And there we go. And what else do we have to do? Very good, of course, we have to brush our teeth. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, everyone together. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, everyone together. All right, a little bit of water. And there we go, we're all ready for bed. All right. So, what song would you guys like to sing tonight? Down by the Bay. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, if you go down by the bay, you might see all kinds of crazy things. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to 
my home I dare not go For if I do My mother would say Did you ever see a whale With a polka dot tail Down by the bay Down by the bay Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do My mother would say Did you ever see a moose Kissing a goose Down by the bay Down by the bay Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a snake baking a cake down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a llama eating pajamas? Down by the bay. All right, what other animals could we see down by the bay, guys? You think of the animal, I'll think of the rhyme. All right. What's that, Kuma? Elephant? Elephants? All right, here we go. Down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I do My mother would say Did you see the elephants Wearing two pairs of pants Down by the bay Alright, what else can we see down by the bay? What's that come up? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a cat wearing a hat with a baseball bat, what about that, down by the bay, alright, Pooh, what do you think? Dinosaur? Oh wow. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you see a dinosaur walking through the door? Down by the bay. Alright, let's do one more. Who's got a good one? What's that, honey bear? Some bees. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see the bees with babies on all six knees? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a horse playing hockey? No, 
Uh, did you ever see a penguin reading the newspaper? Oh, did you ever see a goat making stew? Oh, did you ever find a time where you couldn't find a rhyme? Down by the about a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to hear a story? You want to hear a story? Everybody wants to hear a story? All right. Well, tonight's first story is about two monkeys who always thought the very same thing. What's that, Teddy? It sounds great. Yeah, well, I guess it could be great, but I guess we'll see. All right, let's take a look, shall we? This one is called Two Little Monkeys. Once upon a time, there were two little monkeys who looked alike, did alike, and even thought alike. Which, since two heads are so much better than one, really was a shame. When one little monkey thought he'd climb the banana tree and pick one ripe banana, the other little monkey thought the same. So up they both went. But with two little monkeys reaching for the same banana, whoops, out of their hands it slipped right into the mouth of a hungry zebra below. Off he raced with two little monkeys after him. But not even two little monkeys can run as fast as one little zebra. So he was soon well hidden in the striped jungle shade chewing away happily, while they were just all out of breath. <sighs> Whew, panted one little monkey. I think I want a drink. Whew, panted the other. I do too. Hand in hand, they ran down to the riverbank. It was so wet and muddy that one little monkey began to slip. As he did, he pulled the other little monkey with him, and slip and splash into the river they fell, almost into the mouth of a crocodile who was waiting there. Uh-oh. Both little monkeys scrambled out, but the one who had been pulled in got the tip of his tail sharply nipped. And that made him so cross that when the other little monkey said, hmm, I don't think I like big biting crocodiles, he would not say, I don't think I do either. Instead, he said, hmm, I don't think I like looking alike, doing alike, and especially thinking alike, because that's what keeps getting me into trouble. And away he went, scowly and sulky, to be all by himself behind a big rock. By and by, when his tail had stopped hurting, that little monkey began to feel very lonely. He was glad when the other little monkey peeped at him. So glad that he smiled and smiled. But even then, when the other little monkey said, mm, I'm thinking of picking some wild strawberries for supper, he would not say, I'm thinking the same thing. Mm -mm. He said, I'm thinking of getting some sugar and cream to put on the berries you're thinking of picking, he said instead. And he did. Mmm, but berries taste good, all sweet and creamy, said the little monkey who had picked them. I think they're twice as good as just berries. Everything is going to be twice as good from now on, grinned the monkey who had made up his mind to think his own thoughts. And since he did, and since two heads are so much better than one, that's exactly the way things turned out. 
we and that's two little monkeys <laughs> What's that, Kuma? <laughs> yeah? You always try and think for yourself, do you? Mm-hmm. You know a song about some monkeys who thought alike? Oh, yeah. What song is that? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's right. Five little monkeys jumping on a bed. That's right. Yeah, because they all thought alike, and they were all jumping on the bed. And they all got into trouble, didn't they, in the end? Shall we sing it? Yeah? All right, let's sing Five Little Monkeys, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys. He's jumping on the bed. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One, two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey left. Did he learn anything from the others? Nah. -uh. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys straight to bed. <laughs> okay. What's that, honey bear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a story about a grasshopper, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And ants. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd like to hear a story about some bees? Yeah, buzz, buzz, buzz. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Once upon a time, there was a little bee. He was just buzzing around the garden, looking for some nice flowers with delicious pollen. But the poor little bee couldn't find any flowers. The bee saw a beetle crawling along. Excuse me, Mr. Beetle. 
Do you know where I can find some delicious flowers with delicious pollen? Mm. Uh, well, no, I don't know about any flowers. But there is a wonderful decaying log just over there in the corner by the trees. It's wonderful. Would you like to join me? Mm. A log? Hmm. Okay, let's try. So the two went over to the rotting log. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, it's so soft and delicious. Mm, nom, nom. Mm. The little bee went down and tried to take a bite. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much, but I don't think I like decayed logs suit yourself and the bee went on to look for some nice flowers with delicious pollen next the bee came across a grasshopper hello there do you know where there are any nice flowers with delicious pollen? Um, well, I haven't seen any flowers, but there's some wonderful juicy grass on the other side of the field. Why don't you come with me and try it? Ooh, thank you. And the two of them went off together to find some grass. Honk, honk, honk. Mmm, so green and juicy. The bee tried some. Well, it's not really my taste. Thank you very much. Suit yourself, said the grasshopper. And off the little bee went to try and find some flowers with some nice, delicious pollen. Next, the bee came across an earthworm, inching its way across the garden. Ooh, excuse me, do you know where there are some flowers? I would like to find some delicious pollen. Well, I don't know about flowers and pollen, but there is a wonderful, wonderful pile of compost just over here. Why don't you come and try some? So they went over to the compost and the worm dug in. Mm. Oh. Mm. Nice and fresh and moist, just the way I like it. Mm. Well, it smells all right. think I like compost. Suit yourself, said the earthworm, and off the little bee went to try and find some flowers with some delicious pollen. Next, the bee saw an ant. Excuse me, do you know where there are some flowers with some delicious pollen? Well, don't know about flowers and pollen, but I did find a wonderful loaf of bread. Stale and everything, just the way I like it. Ooh, sounds interesting. Why don't you come and join me? So the two went to find the loaf of bread. Hum, hum, hum. Oh, lovely, crunchy, and weeks old. Mmm, just the way I like it. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. I don't like stale bread. No. Oh. Suit yourself, said the ant. He carried the loaf of bread away to share with all of his friends back in the nest. Oh, the poor little...
little bee was getting so hungry. Next, he came across a little ladybug. Excuse me, um, do you know where there are some flowers with lovely, delicious pollen? Well, I don't know much about flowers and pollen, but there are some delicious aphids around the tomatoes. Aphids? What are aphids? Um, sure, uh, let's go. So off to the tomato bush they went. Ooh, say, what are all those little white bugs flying around the tomato plants? Those are the aphids. What? Those are aphids? You eat bugs? Only very little ones. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, so yummy. Nom, 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 nom. Jeez. Well, bye. Thank you very much. Mm, suit yourself, said the ladybug. So hungry. Mm -hmm. Then saw a butterfly floating by. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I hate to bother you, but do you know where there are some flowers with some delicious pollen? Why, yes, said the butterfly. Follow me. I'm going to a field where there are lots and lots of flowers. So off they went together. Soon, came to a mountain covered in beautiful flowers. They found one nice big flower. Well, <laughs> they found some nice big yellow flowers. Ooh, looks great. And the two of them feasted on nice sweet pollen from the beautiful flowers. Ooh, so good. Thank you. You're welcome. The end. And that's the story of the hungry little bee. How was that? Perfect? <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, ladybugs eat little tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, all of the things in that story that the insects ate, those are the things that they eat in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you prefer honey, do you? Okay, <laughs> very good. All right. <clears throat> well, would you guys like to sing one more song about some bees? Yeah? All right, let's sing a song about bees. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden inside, where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away. Where nobody sees, watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden inside, where nobody sees, watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> well, guys, I think that's about all for this evening. It's time for bed. And tomorrow, be sure to join me, and we're going to make a beehive with five bees to go along with the bee song. So be sure to join me at four o'clock tomorrow and you'll need the printout from uh, the Facebook page, uh, which I'll be posting later. And 
your scissors and someone old enough to use them, crayons, someone young enough to use them, and of course your trusty glue stick. All right, if you enjoyed tonight's episode, please be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, goodbye Monty, goodbye Pooh. You can say goodbye, goodbye Kuma, goodbye Broccoli. I can say goodbye to you, goodbye Gomba, goodbye Teddy, goodbye Honey Bear. You can say goodbye to me, goodbye Carrot, goodbye Bear, goodbye everybody. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.